This is part two of lesson 3.10. In the first part, we learned how to act out a problem by drawing counters and quick drawings. We're going to continue with skip counting. As I told you in the previous video, skip counting is a faster way to count objects that are in equal groups. We just count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's much quicker than saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's just a faster way to count. Equal groups are groups that have the same amount of objects in each group. We have five objects in each group. We have three equal groups of five. We can skip count by five and say 5, 10, 15. When we skip count by twos, this is what it looks like on a number line. Here's zero, and we skip count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and we can keep going. We're skipping by twos, see? When we skip count by threes, we start at zero and say 3, 6, 9, 12. We're skip counting by 3, and 3, and 3, and 3, see? So when we have a problem like this, there are two bees on each flower. How many bees are on four flowers? We first circle the important information. There's two bees. We could even underline that it's each flower to help us. And we have four flowers. If two bees are on one flower, then we would have two, four, six, eight bees. We can use counters or make a quick drawing with little dots and count by twos. There are eight Bs. And we can skip count by any number. We have to keep skipping the same number. We can skip count by fours, five, six, seven, eight, and more. We'll learn a lot more about equal groups and skip counting when we get into third grade. Have a really nice day, and I'll see you for the next lesson. Bye.